next we have Sam Egan from Australia. And exception for Sam is his friend Chris Christensen, who's also a board builder down south. So. Okay, Chris, we've talked on the phone several times, right? Put the jacket on. And you won't be able to keep you warm this up because we got somebody going down there. Perfect. Hi, everyone. Um, it's good to be here. I'd like to thank everyone for putting this event on. Um, I'm Chris Christensen, I'm from San Diego. I actually uh, grew up here, so it feels good to be back home. I grew up surfing, uh, mostly north side of the pier, Taco Bell Reef and uh, Seal Beach, however far I could ride my bike. So, um, it's not for me to be here accepting this award on behalf of Sam Egan. For the last 32 years, I have traveled all over the world shaping surfboards and building my business. And my favorite thing about my career in surfing is the brotherhood we have, and that's why we're all here today. I'd like to personally congratulate all of today's inductees. I'd also like to give a special thanks and perhaps a round of applause for all the unsung heroes in all the glass shops. <laughs> Without them, uh, we wouldn't be here either. Sam Egan, um, was in the surf industry in the 1950s. He was only just 15 years old. And he still shapes today, mastering every evolution of surfboards to master class level. His son, Luke Egan, who I consider one of my best friends, uh, in 1997, <coughs> one of Sam's biggest highlights and still brings joy to his face today is Luke won the 1997 G-Land event in perfect 6 to 10 foot on Sam's board. Um, Luke Egan is also being inducted into the Australian Surfing Hall of Fame this year, so congrats to you both, father and son, for the achievement. Uh, another great achievement of Sam Egan is he's been married to his wife, Margaret, for over 60 years now, and Margaret has been a great supporter of all of Sam's passions in his career. So Sam wrote a speech, and I'm going to read it for you all right now. So these are words from Sam. I started making surfboards in the 1950s when I was 15 because I couldn't afford to buy my own. My first board was a 16 foot toothpick, then I moved on to balsa and finally foam. Soon after the first issue of Surfer Magazine was published and I was instantly hooked. Surfer Magazine introduced me to, the, to Hobie, Jacobs, Greg Miller, and others including Bob the Greek Bullen. This really inspired me to make boards full time. Brookfile Sydney became the hub of surfboard making in Australia with the Brookfile Six. Barry Bennett, Gordon Woods, Scott Dillon, Bill Wallace, Danny Keel, and Greg McDonald. Can't you do that with an Australian accent? No, mate, no. <laughs> um, Barry Bennett played a big role in encouraging me, and Scott Dillon was the one who showed me how to make surfboards as a living. At the time, I was 23, married to Margaret, paying rent on a one bedroom flat a mortgage on a plot of land where I built my home with Margaret and a shop at the beach. Margaret was a wizard at handling all this and the financials. I still don't know how she did it all today, but it seemed to work out. I've now hand shaped for over 60 years, shaping long boards, high performance short boards, knee boards, wooden boards, paddle boards, and even tandem boards. I now enjoy making elaborate wooden boards, hand shaping my own label, and making some fine furniture in my shed underneath my home overlooking beautiful Lake Macquarie in New South Wales. My favorite shapers now are Jim Phillips, Mitchell Ray, and uh, thank you, Sam, Chris Christensen. Thank you, Sam. I'm so honored to be inducted with the greats of our industry. I've only dreamed to be considered for this prestigious award. I'd like to thank the International Surfboard Hall of Fame for this honor. I would also like to thank Mitchell Ray for my nomination, a man I consider to be one of the best board makers in Australia. I'm fortunate enough to have Chris Christensen uh, accept the award. You're very welcome. I've been Chris's Chris's work for a long time, and that's the Sam's words. <laughs> I know it won't be long before he's here to uh, receive his own award. Thank you, buddy. Um, skip one. I skipped the last page stuck together, almost down here. 
thank you. I regard this award to be a highlight of my surfing journey up there with my son, Luke Egan's successful surfing career. I would also like to congratulate all the inductees. I would have loved to have met them all, and I regret not being able to travel. Sam Egan. Thank you. Before we get to the next one, back to our logo, when Greek and I started this, as I said, we didn't have t-shirts, stickers, didn't even have a logo. Greek and I were over doing a gig on uh, Oahu, and we just happened to go into the ABC store there, and I see this postcard on the rack that had the Hawaiian crest on it, and it said something else in it in Hawaiian. So I told Greek, I said, there's our logo right there, that outline. And so that's how we came up with our logo, and then the t-shirts evolved after that, and then that's it. <laughs> 